Welcome back uh, everyone, Yunus here with uh, Arc Automation Consulting. Um, so this time um, we are going to see how we can subscribe to um, our MQTT um, uh, topics in, uh, in the MQTT server that now we established the connection to our MQTT broker as we saw in the uh, in the first uh, video of this uh, series. Uh, so with uh, no further uh, delays, uh, let's start. Here, if I go to the MQTT uh, credential, uh, you can see here that these are the topics that I can subscribe to in this uh, in this MQTT. Um, broker. So, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how we're going to subscribe to this uh, this uh, topic. Some some of them uh, in there, and they will basically showing up in here. So, if I go here to my routine for subscribe, so this is the add instruction for uh, subscribing to uh, your. MQTT topics. Now, if I look at the add instruction from setting standpoint, what we have to set up is we have to set up the topics that we want to subscribe to. So these, so you have up to 25, but uh, you're not uh, limited to 25 actually. So if you want to uh, connect to more than 25, you can certainly do do so by just changing the uh, array in the user defined from 25 here to uh, maybe like 40 or whatever. The only thing I guess to keep in mind is there is uh, a hard coded limit uh, on how much we can handle uh, which is about 2000, uh, 2000 characters. So if we add up all these topics and you know like in terms of how many characters you have in every topic and it ends up that it's going to be more than 2000 characters uh, then you're going to have to you know uh, reduce reduce that and you could uh, use like maybe two add-on instructions or even three to do uh, you know multiple subscriptions uh, because you can you can have more than one add-on instruction if you would like to so there's no um, limitation in there other than the PLC memory and so forth. All right, so these are the ones I'm going to subscribe to. The other thing you can specify is the quality of service. So right now by default is zero, but you can specify quality of service one or two if you would like to. I'm just going to keep them uh, default zero just to keep it simple. So uh, and then I'm going to trigger this. So those that's the settings you have to do. And once I do this, you see immediately we have subscribed. Now, if I go and look at this, you see I have all the uh, the uh, topics I subscribed to are listed now here. So really, it's just as simple as that. Now, now that we uh, subscribe to this um, to these uh, uh, topics, now if somebody publishes to these topics we will be able to see those values in the PLC. And to do so, I'll just show you here, uh, if I go here under uh, sub-status, I will go to the uh, payloads, okay? And it looks like I have some values uh, already in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna so I'm just doing some testing and why not. So it looks like we're already um, publishing to these uh, topics and I believe that's coming from here. That's why, yeah, so this is already publishing. So I'm just going to stop uh, this <coughs> for our, this and then we're going to see the publishing uh, how that works from the PLC in the uh, next video. But let's right now focus on just the subscribe. So let's say we just want to read, we just want to read stuff from the MQTT broker. Um, so I'm going to go to the payloads here and I'm going to just remove this. Here we go. So now I'm able to just clear this stuff. So 
just like that. All right, so we have new values now in here. So now uh, what I have here is I have an MQTT uh, uh, explorer. So it's going to act as a, an, an MQTT client. And what I did here is under advanced, I just put some topics in here that I want to subscribe to, which they are the same topics. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to say connect. So now that I connected, um, so I can publish really whatever I want to these topics. Like for example, right now here, I just have a JSON, uh, you know, formatted uh, message in here, like temp, temp and flow. Uh, and if I say publish, you see immediately it show up here in the PLC and here it is in this MQTT. Uh, I'm just gonna squeeze this a little bit so you can see the full thing. So now, just as simple as that, that message showed up in here. And in the same way, uh, if I grab uh, another topic, and by the way, those topics we subscribe to, uh, they're also going to show up uh, in here as well. So if I grab another topic from here, and let's say I want to subscribe to that, I'm going to put maybe um, just a raw value, and I'm going to say, um, instead of a JSON, just going to say, you know, like 25 uh, degree C, for example. So um, as soon as I do that and publish it to this guy, see here is 25 degrees C, just like that. Uh, and with the same way, I can keep going with this. Uh, you know, I mean, maybe I can pick this one here, the level, for example. And if I go here, and I say, well, your level is like 50%, like something like that. Okay, so now if I go to that topic, I'll see the 50% is uh, is here. Uh, we're reading it from basically this client that publishes to those topics, and we're just reading it here in the PLC. So really, it's simple as that. So if if you require just to read stuff to the PLC, you don't need to publish anything from the PLC back to the MQTT server then you just need to use the, the, the subscribe in here. Now, one, uh, one thing I uh, also show you is, let's say you want to add a topic. So uh, I'm going to go here. OK, so I'm going to say this is plant uh, area one, and this is uh, like uh, machine. Uh, for example, oh, that's, that's not the, uh, so, okay, so I'm going to say uh, area 2, machine uh, A, and perhaps we want uh, um, something like uh, flow. Okay, so I'm going to add that topic in there, okay. And then I'm going to say, uh, OK. And then I'm going to untangle this and resubscribe. Now notice what happened. It's, it's subscribed, and at the same time it says there is an MQTT error. OK, so what is the error? So now, if we go to our MQTT, uh, the status is here, and you look at the uh, quality of server status, you will see that one that we just added it's giving us this code. Now, what does that code mean? If we go here, it's going to tell you that's the negative 128 or code 18 hex, it's mean is a failure. So that's mean it did not accept this topic. Now, uh, a reason for that is that topic does not exist into the MQTT server. So if we look here in these topics we, we created, that topic, it does not exist. There is no uh, area to uh, in here. Now, if you want to, uh, like if you want the users to be able to create topics and then, and then you know, subscribe to them uh, uh, on the fly, what the, what the MQTT broker admin need to do is, uh, I need to come here, and what I need to do is I need to add this wildcard uh, in the uh, uh, in the filters in here and say add 
and then I'll say update. So now once I do this, now anybody can create topic and subscribe and it will uh, uh, be uh, available. So now it's just to show you, if I go back into my PLC and then I just put this here so we can see both at the same time. Okay, so just remember right now we have that error. In fact, it might just already done. Yeah, so I, actually, as soon as I uh, as I did that update and all that, it's uh, because we have the connect connectivity uh, on. What it happens, it recovers the connectivity and then it makes the subscription and now it takes that topic. So now that, as you see, um, that error uh, went away. And what happened is when I added that wildcard as a filter, it actually recovered. Uh, in here with the connection and then it's basically resubscribed and now you will see that I have the status cleared right there so now it's zero there's no negative 128 anymore so now uh, I subscribed it to that topic so if somebody publish it to that topic um, I will be able which is right here. So if I copy this, uh, I will be able to see the value of that topic in here. So let's let's do that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to look at the payloads, and we're just watching basically this one here. That's the one we're looking at. So I'm going to go back to that explorer, and the one thing I need to do. So I'm going to disconnect first. And then I have to go to advanced and then I have to add that topic in here. Um, so I have it added right there. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to say connect. And then I'm going to put that same topic here. And it's a flow so I can say, you know, we're reading 340 uh, cube uh, a day, for example. And I say publish. So you see immediately we can see it right there. So really, it's just uh, as simple as that. So that's um, uh, like on the subscription uh, side of things. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is we can also unsubscribe to uh, some topics that we no longer need to subscribe to. And the way we do that is we have here this add on instruction here and subscribe. And from a setting standpoint, what we have to do is, again, we go to the unsubscribe config, and all we have to do in here, we just have to set up the topics that we don't want to. Uh, so now, you see these topics, uh, again, you have up to 25, and you can put them wherever you want. So as long as this topic matches what the topics you have uh, originally subscribed to, they're going to they're gonna be uh, gone. So uh, I'm going to say, okay, this is the ones I want to remove. And what I'm going to do here is, uh, so we can see this actually uh, uh, live. I'm just going to do this. So I have this uh, same UDT here. So we are going to be monitoring the topics here. Now watch these topics, what will happen as soon as I say unsubscribe. So you see here, when I say unsubscribe, it immediately take out those topics that we don't no longer need. And it updated the list for you that, uh, you know, when you uh, subscribe. Now if I do like this and go to back to the subscribe and say, oh no, I want to subscribe back to those topics. If I do this, you can see now they're back and I subscribe to them again. So really that's as simple uh, as that to uh, unsubscribe from the topic. So I hope uh, this is, was uh, useful um, and uh, appreciate uh, you guys' attention. And I will see you in the next one where we're going to see how now the PLC can publish the data to the MQTT uh, server. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.